everyone welcome to another mix box episode today i am unboxing and i'm showing you the car refrigerator which is portable by the way and it has a 25 liter capacity please note from the start that um, the car refrigerator needs to be plugged in with your car on to start working it will not work if your car is turned off let's go Okay, and then it is quite big, so I suggest that someone help you with this. I'm putting it up. Okay, and then right here at this part, I need you to find someone to help you pick it up and carry it out. Give me two seconds. Okay, so it is very heavy <laughs> and then actually do need help to carry it into the car, especially if you already have your drinks in. So let's go and open it up. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the top and as you can see here at the top, it has four little cup holders so that when you're in the car and you want a little drink, you can just put it down if you stop drinking. And then I'm going to show you what is inside the box. We have the connection cables. So number one is the car port. And then number two, we have a two pin plug. And number three is the connector to the two point plug. And then I'm going to show you how to actually connect it to the car refrigerator. Please note that this refrigerator, it can obviously work at home, <laughs> but then in the car, um, you have to keep it on all the time, otherwise it will not work. Okay guys, so since we're not in a car, I'm gonna show you how to connect it to an outlet at home. You're just going to connect the two pin plug with the rest of the unit and then just squeeze it in there. Plug in your two point plug. And then over here, you'll see this device that connects right here on the side to the unit press hard and then it should turn on okay so now that it is connected it is actually turned on i'm just going to quickly show you what the buttons are all about so your on and off button is right here on the top right settings on the top left your plus and your minus to make it hotter or colder and then right here we have the degrees which it is currently we have the voltage so that you don't over um use your car's battery and then if it's charged full, then this is also here on the right. Okay, so showing the plus and the minus, you can actually set how cold you want your refrigerators to be. So let's say minus 20 degrees, that's pretty cold. I think that is um, if you want to maybe freeze some things. So we'll go all the way down to 120. And then, yeah, this is basically how to use it. And I look forward to seeing it inside your car. Okay, so we have two settings over here. We have the max, which is obviously it's going to give a maximum output. So this is great when you use it at home. And then if you're in the car, please set it to eco mode, just so that it also um, saves a bit of your car's battery. It will freeze full. It will just use less power. So economically, um, this is a great thing to use. It has different settings, obviously on and off. So if you feel like you know you've been driving a lot and then you can just put it off a bit put it on to refreeze and then this is how to use it okay so when you open up the box we have a little light over here so you can see all the contents inside the box and then when you go all the way down to over here okay we have an outlet so you can drain whenever you like and then this is how to use the portable car fridge. So if you have any questions about the power usage or voltage or what, then you can have a look at the back and I'll show you right here. Here's the different um, outlets, the different powers, everything you need to know about this unit. Please have a look, it is fantastic. 